Welcome to this Goddess Danu transmission, guardian of the fairy races, the Tua de Danan. The Goddess Danu is an earth goddess who was known for her qualities of inspiration, intellect and wisdom. She was also known as a warrior goddess and her name is associated with flowing water. She was worshipped in Ireland before the advent of Christianity that eventually banished the healing wisdom ways of the old religion. The goddess Danu is the protector of the fairy people, the Tua de Danan, which translates as the people of the goddess Danu. This is a high frequency race which is also known as the Shining Ones. As the Earth descended in frequency, the Shining Ones, who had not made the collective decision to descend, stepped sideways into the light and disappeared from this world. They entered into an inner Earth dimension that was more suited to their higher vibration, and they can be contacted now by those of pure heart who are on a path of ascending light. So, open body, open mind. And with your breath connecting to the universe around you, the web of life. On the in-breath, breathing in the light of the stars into your body. Allowing all the cells of your body to light up like shining stars in the body. On the in-breath, light from the stars. On the out-breath, releasing anything from this 3D dimension that you need to release back to the light. Back to the light allowing more light to return to you. And I call to your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance, your higher self, I am presence, all angels, all guides, star races, star councils, galactic council, Elohim be with you now. and the energy of the horizon, the four archangels holding the four directions, beginning in the east with Raphael who holds the energy of air, element of air. Direction of the east, the place of the rising sun, the place of the inner child, the place of spring, This Archangel holds the energy of emerald green fire, allowing that fire now into your field. Holding the space, holding the space. And to the south is Michael. Archangel of Fire, Warrior Protector Angel. Who holds the Sword of Light. And the South is a direction of will, of power. And this angel holds the energy of electric blue fire. Allow that fire into your field. Clear and cleanse and open you.
and to the west, Gabriel, Archangel of Water. Of emotion, this is the messenger angel. This archangel holds the energy of diamond white fire. Breathe that into your field like a waterfall of light. Washing away all shadows, washing away all shadows. And to the north, Uriel, Archangel of Earth, of structures, of the physical body. Who offers you ruby red fire. Breathe that in and clear and cleanse and four archangels, four energies and open, open Let's call Metatron from the Great Central Sun. Bring down that Christ grid down into the room, this golden white fire sealing the room. Sealing any openings in the room to any lower dimension, closing the room, creating a sacred space. And bring that energy down to the crown that opens. A great sphere of light opens, connecting your crown to the Christ grid. All layers, levels, dimensions. Releasing what needs to be released. and bring the energy down to the third eye so it opens, a great sphere of light opens connecting your third eye to the great central sun all layers, levels, dimensions and down to the throat that opens as a great sphere of light opens connecting all layers, levels, dimensions to the great central sun releasing what needs to be released and bring the energy down to the heart that opens a great sphere of light opens connecting the heart all layers levels dimensions to the great central sun releasing what needs to be released and just feel from the heart upwards your whole being and energy system is immersed in golden white fire from the Christ grid. And breathe and open.
and it's called a Sandophon of the crystalline grid of the Earth. To bring up that silver fairy-like white grid of the Earth up to the feet. Feet chakras open. Allowing the light of the earth through the legs and around the legs like a rising tide up to the base chakra. That opens, a great sphere of light opens, allow light from the earth into all layers, levels, dimensions of the base. and breathe. And the tide of the earth rises up to the sacral that opens, a great sphere of light opens. Allow light into all layers, levels and dimensions of the sacral, releasing what needs to be released, absorbing light from the earth this fairy white light and bring that energy up to the solar plexus that opens a great sphere of light opens allow light into all layers, levels and dimensions of the solar plexus Releasing what needs to be released. And bring the energy up to the heart that opens, anchoring that energy into the heart. Allowing the whole lower part of your body from the heart down to be immersed in the fairy light of the earth. and open the inner channel between heaven and earth. Allowing more light to flow through your field. Six archangels, six energies and expand your field, expand the field. Expanding the field and I now call to the goddess Danu the earth goddess whose name is associated with flowing water and is also associated often with mists Invoking Goddess Danu and as you do so feeling a fairy mist beginning to envelop you a white opaque mist beginning to form around you getting thicker and thicker
feel yourself held in this loving embrace by the living force within the land. And the goddess transports you to another time and space. The mist transports you to another time and space. Finding yourself now in another place as the mist begins to thin. A stone circle on a hilltop with a lush green landscape around you. A stone circle on a hilltop with a lush green landscape around you. And the mist recedes, but the embrace of the goddess is still there. And we ask now permission for you to access the fairyland, the land behind the land. Just ask now for permission to access the fairyland, the land behind the land. And there's a chant that comes from a poem the chant is, O oh, come away, O oh, human child, to the waters and the wild. Come and take me by the hand to the land behind the land. And the mist begins to cover you once more, cover you once more. Oh, come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild. Come and take me by the hand to the land behind the land. And the mist is revealing now an entry point to the inner earth. This entry point may be a tree, an ancient tree or an ancient stone with an opening within it. Find now before you an ancient tree or large stone with an opening, a doorway a crack. Step towards that tree or stone. Step towards that doorway. And enter into the earth. And as you do so, find yourself in a chamber lit by an earthly green light that illuminates the way. You may notice a spiral staircase or perhaps a, 
ramp going down into the earth. Follow that staircase, following the light, the earthy green light that illuminates the way. Go down into the earth as you move through dimensions, as you move through dimensions. At the end of the staircase or ramp, come to a beautifully carved door. Beautifully carved door. This door opens to another landscape. The land behind the land. The land that is bright and beautiful. The fairy world. When you're ready, open the door and step into another landscape, a vast landscape. The colors and lights here are slightly different than the earth plane here that you're used to. Notice the light, the beauty. Just find a place to rest in this landscape. Find a place to rest. And just feel the energy of this high frequency landscape. Call a fairy guide to come and meet you. A fairy guide. This guide may be male or female, a shining one. Wait now for the guide. You may feel the approach of the guide or sense of being of light, a shining one approaching you. guide stands before you feel your connection to this guide in light he or she may take you by the hand and lead you into the landscape guide finds a pathway and takes you along the pathway. Notice the landscape around you. The guide is leading you to a pool of glimmering light.
and the pool also has a waterfall of glimmering light. Your guide bids you strip all of your clothes, release the footwear, Step into the core pool of light. Cleansing yourself of lower frequency vibration. absorbing this fairy pool light. Step under the waterfall and wash away all shadows. Wash away the shadows of the 3D world. you step out you're offered new clothing and footwear. Put these on. And your guide leads you along a path through the landscape once again. And again you enter a mist, a mist of the goddess. just see several paces ahead, everything else is shrouded in a mist. And eventually the guide leads you to a beautiful building that's shrouded in mist, full of twinkling lights. You can hear gay laughter and ethereal singing inside the building. The guide leads you into the building and you enter and find a small hall. You still hear the ethereal singing and the singing transports you to another time. And even though it's in a different language, you know they're singing of another time, an ancient time, when the fairy races and the human races walked on the earth. the guide bids you wait in this hall and leaves you and passes through a door at the end of the hall.
three tall fairy beings appear in the hall. And they gather around you and begin to sing. And as they do so, they invoke a dancing, bright, ruby red fire that begins to flicker around you. And eventually you're engulfed in this ruby red fire that begins to dance and cleanse and invigorate you. Clearing you once again of the 3D world. Feel the fire burning through you, fairy fire burning through you. There's also a magic in the fire a lightness and magic And the fairy being step back and stop singing. And bid you enter through the doorway. And as you do so, you enter a larger hall. There are many beings gathered here. The lights are dimmed and there are lanterns casting a magical light. There is a great singing and a great feasting. You're invited to sit at the table alone. All around you are shining ones, singing, eating, dancing. And your guide brings food and drink to your table. And you must know that it's a great fallacy that you're never supposed to eat and drink in the fairy world. The opposite is true. You're being offered a great gift one that will help you connect to the fairy realm. You must know that to refuse would cause great offense. Eat and drink. Eat and drink. And feel the light of this food and liquid. joins you and he or she offers you a gift of jewelry 
perhaps a ring or a fairy brooch or bracelet or pendant this is a gift from the fairy races to you take the gift guide bids you stand up and leads you out of the hall and as you do so you hear the fairies singing and you can gather in your mind the translation O oh, come away, O oh human child, from the waters and the wild. Come and take me by the hand, from the land behind the land. And you leave the building with its twinkling lights. And singing begins to fade in the distance. And you enter the mist. You enter the mist. Oh, come away, O oh human child, from the waters and the wild. Come and take me by the hand, from the land behind the land. And the guide brings you out of the mist, back to the pathway. To the door the door that leads back to your world. But before you leave, the guide embraces you and perhaps puts their forehead to yours. and begins to communicate telepathically or they may speak it might sound like a different language is being communicated to you just open to this message of love Open to the message of love. And when you're ready, bid your guide farewell. You're always welcome to return. Open the door and come back through the ramp or the spiral staircase with the earthy green light illuminating the way.
come back to the doorway through the tree or stone. Step through the doorway or the crack and back into the mist. As you embrace once more by the goddess Danu. And feel this embrace of love. Feel the embrace of love. goddess is returning and the shining ones are returning to connect to the human race at this time of ascension. I just feel embraced in love. Every cell of your body a twinkling star. And the mist brings you back to your own time and space. And releases you, releases you. Thanking all of the angels holding the space, Metatron Sanophon. Uriel. Gabriel. Michael. Raphael. And thanking your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance. And begin to come back to your body and breathe and open. And this transmission is offered to you as always with love and blessings, love and blessings.